I'm really excited to talk about Xgimme's Mogo Pro 2 1080p projector. So I've been a big fan of projectors, especially when I live in a tiny micro condo. I've actually had an LG projector for the past five years and it's a 720p projector and it had terrible sound quality and the picture quality, you know, 720p is quite outdated. So I was really excited to upgrade to this much better projector, which is 1080p, which is quite fine for my use cases. I don't need 4K. And it also has a really nice bass speaker system and it's a huge upgrade from my previous projector. So I'm really excited to go into all the features and tell you what I like about it. And so let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is why would you want to invest in a projector in the first place? Well, if you're someone like me who lives in a very tiny space, like in this little tiny condo, having a projector is really, really nice, especially if you move a lot. So for example, let's say you have a flat screen TV, 50 inches. It's just really annoying to have to move that around, especially because it's so brittle. As you're moving it, you could break it so easily and it takes a lot of space and it's physically always there. And let's face it, we're not watching TV a lot these days. We don't really need a dedicated screen all the time. Sometimes I just want to watch a movie and then this space saving gadget right here really does the trick and if you want it to be a permanent mount it's very easy to mount it because it has a quarter inch thread over here and you can just put it nicely away and then when you want to watch stuff you can just have it turn on so there are a lot of cool smart features that are a huge advancements from my old projector and i can't wait to talk about them but first let's talk about the unboxing experience so as i unboxed it you can see that it comes with an ac adapter it's a 60 watt or 65 watt charger now this does not have a battery embedded inside because they've already jam packed so many like they have a fan in here they have you know like amazing speakers and stuff like that so so they actually give you the option to buy a 65 watt charger that if you want to make this into a portable setup, let's say you want to take it camping or into your backyard and put a nice white screen projector to share with all your friends and family. Well, this is definitely going to do it. Now I have to say when I first held this device in my hand, I have to say it looks very, very attractive and sleek. In fact, I don't mind having this in my room all the time because it just looks really nice. And it's a really nice speaker on top of that. Now, one of the key things that I really don't like about some other projectors like my previous one is the simple on off switch. Sometimes you just want to have a very simple interface into your projector and I like that it has like a very nice tactile click to it and it's very fast. It's very responsive. You click on it and you know, within a few seconds, it's going to turn on. So let's examine the physical form factor of this. First, you can see the base diaphragm looks really nice and big over here. So you're going to have some really nice base if you watch some action movies and obviously listen to music and stuff like that. Now it does have a 65 watt USB-C input, which is really good. Like I said before, USB is a uni universal technology. Thank goodness they didn't use some proprietary AC adapter or anything like that. So this gives you a lot of flexibility if you want to like obviously bring it and travel with it. This is basically the same charger you would use for your Apple Mac book or something like that. Now they have a standard USB-A so you can load a bunch of videos and you can put a, a USB stick onto it and then you can watch videos uh, offline. So if you're going to be traveling and camping and you don't have an internet connection, well that's going to be very handy. And then of course it has an HDMI port so that if you want to plug in let's say a PlayStation or something like that, you can play video games on that and share with the friends. And then there's a headphone jack so that you can listen privately if you want. There's of course Bluetooth, you can connect Bluetooth audio devices. So with the Bluetooth listening experience, I have to say there's no lag or anything like that which which is really nice. Now moving on to the actual device at the bottom here, you can see that there's the auto keystone technology. And I'm, I'm going to get into how it uses a time of flight depth sensor to accurately auto keystone the image so that it looks perfect on your on your screen and you don't have to fiddle with it and autofocus and all that stuff. So I'll talk about that a little bit later. And then up, up here, there's like a camera sensor up here. And then of course the, the LED projector. Now, one of the things I immediately noticed is that when you turn this on, it's very, very quiet. The fan is barely audible, especially if you have you know music or TV playing in the back background. So it's a very nice, portable, quiet, and just very elegantly designed. So let's go over the key specs. The first thing I want to say is that this is a very bright projector. We're talking about 400 ISO lumens. So this means that you're going to have no issues in moderate daylight or especially when, when it's dim or dark. It, it's obviously going to look absolutely amazing. The brightness, like the, the picture quality just looks like a TV in my opinion when it's pretty dark. Now in terms of the actual color accuracy, it's rated at D65, which is like a standard color temperature. And it has the DCI P3 90% color gamut. So what are all these fancy terminologies? Well, basically it means that the picture quality 
it looks very, very true to life. It's not gonna look very kind of cheap or anything like that. And that's definitely what I noticed when I watched the footage. Watching movies just feels like you're in a theater and you're not sacrificing on any quality. So let's talk about all the fancy sensors that you get with this projector that really make it a very seamless experience when you wanna watch movies. The first thing I wanna say is that eye protection is a serious thing. When you walk close to that, you know, let's say your kid walks to it or your cat, it'll automatically dim the display so that your eyes are protected. So that's a, that is a really nice feature. And if it gets annoying, you can disable that feature. Now, one of my favorite aspects about this is the auto keystone and the autofocus. This is amazing. So XGimme calls this technology ISA 2.0. So I believe this is their second generation. It's called intelligent screen alignment and intelligent obstacle avoidance. Before I had to manually, every time I moved my projector, let's say I moved it just a little bit, I had to readjust it and it was such a painful experience. This has all the sensors. It has a time of flight sensor and it has a camera built in so that it can detect the sharpness. It can basically use algorithms and project an image so that it knows if the image is square and, and flat onto, this, onto the plane. So this makes it really easy to basically get up and going. You can just put your projector on your tripod, turn it on and it'll automatically correct. And what's really cool about this is that it has obstacle avoidance. So let's say you have a picture frame near your wall and that you want to project it well it can automatically move the image away from that obstacle which is a really neat feature now one essential accessory is of course the remote and this is a very smart remote first of all I like the design it takes two AA batteries very simple nothing too crazy and from there you have the Google assistant button which to me I like the most it's nice to be able to not have to fiddle through a bunch of menus and just simply ask commands in fact the whole Android TV experience which I'll soon cover in the software section of this video review is that it, it is a great experience overall I really like Android TV I've actually actually been a long Chromecast user. On my previous projector, it was really dumb, so I had to buy a, cr a Chromecast. For this particular device over here, you don't have to go out and spend more money, so that's more savings. You don't have to buy a smart TV gadget or anything like that. It's already really smart. So in terms of the remote, there's nothing too special about it. You obviously have up-down buttons. You can control the focus. You can set all the things like that, go to the home button. It's a very simple remote, and it's very similar to the Chromecast remote, if I may add. So nothing too crazy about the remote, except that it has a microphone built in, so it's really nice to be able to interact with Android TV and just you know navigate with your voice. Now, in terms of all the other smart apps and features that you get, you can pair this with your phone and project onto your phone, which is really nice for presentations and stuff like that. Really good in a business setting. And of course, you have your, your typical apps like Netflix and Hulu and all the, the typical stuff you get like Disney. Everything can be accessed to Android TV as well. One of my favorite apps though with Android TV is Kodi and Kodi is an amazing app. I highly recommend it. Basically, it's a really good media library app. And what you can do is you can connect it to various data sources and stuff like that. In my specific case, I like to use my network attached storage, put my whole collection of movies, and then you can just watch from it. It is extremely convenient and I highly recommend the first thing you do when you um, get Android TV set up is to get the Kodi app and just learn more about it because it is absolutely amazing and it's endless. You can even download all types of third-party add-ons and extensions where you can get even more video sources. And that leads me to my second topic. How is the picture quality? How is the sound quality? Well, I have to say the picture quality is absolutely amazing. It is a huge upgrade from the 720p projector. And XGimme has done a lot of work to make sure that the the colors, the way the way that you see the actual images look very standard and accurate. So you're not gonna have weird kind of vivid colors. Everything's gonna look very lifelike and it's gonna look like a theater experience. Especially in a dark room, this thing looks very, very sharp and I'm just very impressed with the colors. Like look at this footage over here of this nature. And by the way, if you see some kind of like banding or anything like that, that's just because it's really hard to capture what it looks like in person with a camera. If you watch this in person, you're not gonna see any of those effects. I apologize for that if you see anything that it looks a little bit weird, like a rainbow effect or kind of like a banding. That's just how the camera picks up the image. But in person, it looks absolutely amazing. The, the picture quality is just so good, 1080p, so crisp. And I can't believe it just looks like a TV. I just can't believe that this little thing can just get rid of my entire TV. I'm so happy about that. Now, in terms of the sound quality, I have to say the dialogue is very, very clear, which is very good because as I get older, I'm having difficulty hearing dialogue and stuff like that. Another benefit with projector is that you can position it physically closer to your ears. What does this mean? Well, the sound is gonna sound much clearer and better at a lower volume. And this means that you don't have to disturb your family or your neighbors. So it has two eight watt speakers and because of its design that's surrounding it, it just feels, it, it really fills up the whole room and it makes the whole experience of watching your movies more immersive. It sounds really full and really, really rich. The bass is amazing. It sounds really, really good. And if you really want to, you have a headphone jack so you can hook it up to a speaker and you even get louder, bigger sound if you really wanted to. So I ended up using this projector in my living room. I finally replaced my old TV that I never really use. You know, I'm a casual uh, TV a movie watcher. Sometimes on a Friday night, I like to have that big screen feeling. This 
it definitely makes the whole experience of watching movies feel more like you're in a theater. And this is great because I don't have to go out and go to the theater all the time and stuff like that. I really enjoy the fact that I have more space in my little tiny condo. This being in my living room takes up barely any space and it has been a great addition to my life. Another good location to mount like a projector like this is in your bedroom. I really enjoy the convenience of just lying down in bed and being able to like project it onto my wall. And I just use basic white walls. It looks fantastic. Now, if you want something that is even more seamless in your living environment, you can mount this maybe on the ceiling or on a wall so that it's really permanent. And if you want to be even more creative, let's say you want to be in your bed, you can actually face upwards. You can face a projector onto the ceiling and I've actually done that before, but I ended up just projecting it onto my wall because I find that a little bit more kind of easy to watch. So to wrap this up, I have to say this is a very portable, nice lightweight package that is very, very quiet. It has a quarter inch thread so you can mount it in many different areas. And this has really changed the way I consume content in my tiny condo. I love that it's so small, but the picture quality and the sound quality is absolutely amazing. You're not making any sacrifices there. I definitely recommend checking it out. I'll leave links in the description. And if you have any questions or comments about this projector, please let me know. I'll see you in the next video.